Good morning, everybody. Day two of my uh, foray into the S and D. Um, this morning, I'm here at Templecombe Station to start off my discovery. Um, behind me, I don't know whether you can see before the network rail lorry van, but Templecombe signal box. Right, if we look round this way, there's the old shed and sidings. Let's see if we can go and have a quick look. Sidings Business Park, that bit gives it away a bit, doesn't it? Down and see if there's anything else we can spot. Right, we're real busy out on the main line. Lovely old railway building. And now being converted to industrial units. See the extent of the old sidings. Goes right up to the end to those trees up there. We're now sitting on the old track bed uh, that was leaving Templecombe to go up towards Wincanton. As you can see, Fales have now taken it over for their complex um, and there's no way through. So we'll move on. Okay, just to explain the layout at Templecombe as was for the following three video shots. The first shot is looking back to where the signal box would have been with Fruit Road behind me which goes down to the lower levels of Temple Coombe. The second video looks at the road bridge which goes over the main Somerset and Dorset as was and then the third video is the bridge that went over the lower goods yard and the engine sheds and the sidings.
The road on the left would have been the main line going to the canton, and the road on the right is through Plain. whether you can see this very well but there's some red brick edging that curves around just here actually on the slope up off the track bed not sure what that would have been for anybody knows send me a message away now from Temple Coo. I'm looking at the triangle. Obviously the line went on through Thales factory. Um, this is the first point where I've been able to pick it up again. It would have come straight through here. Bit of a giveaway. This house is called Worthington Crossing. And some more proof of the railway. Something I just spotted. British Power Rail signal, railway signal. CL London and Slough. Right, let's have a little walk up the track bed then. So we're going from here, which is back towards Temple Coo. Railway gate post. Some 
more old concrete posts in the hedge there. have coming up, a bridge of some description. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Well, this is certainly worth the walk. More old railway fencing, still with the wires attached to it. Post made out of rail. Fabulous. Just look at this. Absolutely fabulous. a bit of remedial work being done there as well. <laughs> Old sweeper there as well. Can't believe the old wires and the old posts are still here is evidence. Absolutely wonderful find. I had no idea this was here. That's looking back towards Templecombe. If we swing round, that's heading off towards Wincanton. That's the direction we'll be going. A nice find, a lovely brick built culvert on the Temple Coombe side of the bridge. Right back at Washington, I might just spotted what would have been the anchor point for the crossing gates. There's nothing on the other side. Well, 
I am now on top of the bridge that we've just seen from underneath. over the parapet. There's the track bed going back to Horsington Crossing and back to Temple Coombe. And that's the other side going on towards Wincanton. other side of Horsington. Now picked up the track bed again. Another crossing point. Still with the old pillars there. Quite nice with the old points on. Same about the modern gate with it, but never mind. And then to the other side of the road. No sign that the pillar's on this side, all brand new. Yet again, the track bed curving round to the right now. Still going towards Wincanton. Just found this as well. Old gate hanger made out of some old railway line. I'm on the other end where they look a bit in the undergrowth. And yet more old concrete fence post. Well folks, this is where the S and D crossed over what is now the 303 straight through here into Wincanton Station. Absolutely nothing left of the railway as far as I can see. Not one single clue, but this is definitely where it came through. Okay, this is the bridge that takes the S&D over the road near Shepton Montague. S and D number one two five. On the edge of the field. A bit more, bit more old railway line. Been there a long time by the looks of it. It's part of the tree. back towards Wincanton, up on quite a high embankment. Okay, this is Road Bridge SAD123 on the S&D at Pitcombe. railway bridge that's looking pretty good despite the overgrowth from from the line side by the look of it absolutely fabulous access the track bed from here unfortunately because it's gated off but it's stunning
but that's nothing compared to what I'm going to show you next. Well, isn't this just stunning? A three arch bridge at Pitcom on the S and D. Absolutely stunning. Wow. I didn't even know this was here. It's even got a little brick built stream built into it. How wonderful is that? It's actually part of the bridge. Just looking down on the track there from up above. On a steep embankment all the way through. And the bridge we saw a few minutes ago. And then it curves on round to where those buildings are and that three arch bridge. And onto coal. Well, this is a bit of a giveaway. Old Station Lane. And when I can find somewhere to park, I will show you the old station at Coal. Okay. Well, right in front of you is the old station building. And to the right, the old station house. Proof positive, the old station. And the station house. Fantastic. Thank you for watching the videos. I'm certainly enjoying following the old S&D around. If you'd like to see some more, why not like, share and subscribe. See you again soon. Bye.